Hello everybody, this is Chilisa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who's listening right now in the podcast. Today is Thursday, October 24, 2024. I wanted to come here and speak about these two things, you guys. Um, So as you guys know, I'm based in Connecticut. Just this morning, I learned that apparently there have been a fire that's been happening right here in Connecticut, issuing warnings to basically the whole stay okay and the other thing that i'm going to speak to you guys about briefly at the end is about this vision that i had last night okay so first of all apparently let me give you the information here um one thing in the last couple of days one thing i did notice is how nice the weather has been right here in connecticut right um it started even from last week, no rain, it's been like beautiful uh, fall weather, and also it's been very dry, you know, the last three days, I guess you can say the, the weather has been, um, you know, like up to 70 degrees, I have gone to the beach a couple times, um, but just today, the temperature dropped a little bit, and it's been cold, but one thing I did notice, it's very windy today, so in Berlin, Connecticut, um, it says here that a deadly lamentation mountain brush fire continues as dry weather persists right here in Connecticut. And this began on October 21st. Today is the 24th, and they're still fighting this fire, okay? It says here, the end of the lamentation mountain fire in Berlin is inside if all goes as planned, they're saying, right? The blaze that has been eating away at the mountain for four days and turned fatal on Tuesday. It says here the Connecticut National Guard and the Department of Energy and Environment provided an update on today, uh, Thursday morning, regarding the status of the fire saying from Wednesday to f Friday, 36,000 gallons of water will be dumped on the flames on Wednesday. Two helicopters were oper in operation. But on Thursday, the authorities say um, that Maine is helping adding a third heli helicopter, okay? Officials say nearby Silver Lake remains closed as the helicopters pick up hundreds of thousands of gallons of water um, to help with the fire. One lane on the northbound side of the Berlin Third Pike is closed to help the operation. It says here, there is no evacuation orders for homes and businesses in the area, and officials say there are no issues with the air quality, and they will continue to monitor the air quality here in Connecticut. But the good news that came in today says that Officials hope the fire will be controlled within two days, although final extinguishment and map-up area are expected to extend into next week. So here's the thing, guys. That is good news. Um, the shocking thing for me, being a Connecticut resident, and as you guys know, I speak about a lot of current events and things like that. I had no idea this was going on. So it's just that, you know, you you know, from Connecticut, and you hear about these forest fires happening very often in California, right? Like in the complete other coast of the country, uh, complete other part of the country. You're like, you know, you feel for those people losing their houses and things like that. But then to hear that this is happening so close to home, it makes you like, wow. And, and not only that, but like you have to go, I guess, sometimes on social media to actually know what's going on, right? And it's just, crazy to know that they've been doing like press releases and um the authorities are being updating about the fires but i learned from it on watching on like on social media about it even though i am here in connecticut the other thing to point out is this that just this monday i believe it was that everybody in connecticut got the alert that the emergency emergency system went down which is another thing that I was like, oh, that's very odd, right? That the um, they're saying if you need help, you have to call the police dispatch. Don't call the the you guys know the emergency number because all the system has worked down. The internet has been happening. Like there's a lot of issues with the internet happening to this week. 
So, and now I learn about this fire. And not only that, when I learn about uh, where this fire originated, is it was originated in a place called Lamentation Mountain. And I was like, what out of all places to originate on the Lamentation Mountain, which is located between Middletown, Berlin, and Middlefield, right here in Connecticut. And I was like, wow, that is crazy. And then, you know, I'm just here, like, trying to add all the ads, right? All the dots, excuse me. And I'm like, wait, the word lamentation, I only hear that in the Bible, right? And it's just kind of like, there's something with this fire. When you look at the photos and you look, and then you look at the photo of this area burning, right? And how windy it is today. We know that wind spreads fire, right? So I really hope that they're able to contain it, um, you know, as soon as possible. It's been already, it started on the 21st. Today is the 24th, okay? Um, they have the National Guard already helping out. And that's what I'm saying. Like for, for so many agencies already to have been involved, they're saying there's no evacuation order. There is no air quality concern, but it's still very windy, right? Um, it's very windy and just this week we had an issue with our phones and emergency phone lines and I'm like what is going on and then to learn that this whole fire is happening on Lamentation uh, Mountain right here in Connecticut I don't know what that is and then to hear all of this and I just discover basically searching on social media that this was going on right here in the in the state that I live and the other thing I was going to tell you guys about just this morning as right before I learned about this fire that's been happening here in Connecticut, I remember a dream that I had last night, right? And everybody's talking about that prepare for something that might come. And I think when you hear so many people speaking about the same topic, it's for you to pay attention. So I had this dream. And what I remember from that is just, it was so... um weird because I'm standing with two other people and we're just standing there looking at a TV, one of those old fashioned TVs that, you know, the ones that they used to use at the schools and they had like the black stand rolling car. We're looking at the TV and somebody explaining to me what was coming, right? And whoever that was, I don't know who that person was, but there was another person standing next to us. And the guy is talking to me. He's saying, you see, he kept doing like this. You see this circle? And this is the ocean, right? And then there's the map of the U.S., excuse me. And he's saying to me, you see this circle? And you see how it's circling? And I said, yeah. He said, yeah. I was like, yeah, I, I can see that. He's like, you see, it's forming. And then he said, this is hurricane so-and-so. I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, that's, wow, that's so crazy how it's just forming like that. And it wasn't coming like up the east or down the east to like Florida or up all the way up to New York and Connecticut, right? New Jersey. It was coming like in between that. And I was just thinking, oh, wow. Like in that moment, as they're explaining to me this, right? And they're like, do you see it? Do you see that it's coming? I'm like, yeah, I can see that it's coming. I said, oh, well, look at it. It's coming straight to Connecticut. That's what I said in the dream. I laugh as a joke. I said, it's coming straight to like where I live in Connecticut. And they're like, no, it's not going there. Look how it's going. It's going straight down to the middle. Um, New York on the top and then Florida on the bottom. So in between those states, right? More like in the center of, of the map of the U.S. And I was like, oh, I get it. And it's so crazy because as they're telling me this information, these two people that I, that were there, for some reason, they wanted me to get it, right? And they're like, you see it? Do you understand it? And I made the joke about it. Like, oh, yeah, it's coming right, right straight to where I live, like in the town where I live. And they're like, no, it's not going straight there. Look where it's going. And it's almost like the way he replied to me, he's basically saying, this is not a joke. And... And I just, I was like, that was so weird. And then, you know, I don't remember after what happened, but I do remember seeing this storm uh, forming in the, you know, he's saying, do you see the circle? You see how it's forming all together, coming, uh, it's taking shape, this hurricane. And I was like, I see it. 
And then he's basically telling me where it's going. And I was like, wow, that is, you know, that's crazy. And I, at that moment, you know, not to bring any fear, I'm just telling you what I saw in my dream. I did feel a little concerned because when I make that joke, they were not, they were not taking it. They're like, this is nothing to be joking about, right? So, and it's so crazy how after I remember that dream this morning, I'm searching on social media to see, you know, what's trending and things like that. And I hear about the Connecticut fires. And I was like, how come nobody's really talking about this right now? Right? I mean, we when something like this is happening in California, that's all we hear in Connecticut. I mean, at least I, I noticed it. How? Because I remember even, like, talking about it here on, on, my, on my videos and, like, praying about the families affected over there. So to have that happening here is a little, you know, it's a little strange that after four days, it's like, oh, wow, there is a fire that's uh, taking over at Lamentation Mountain here in Connecticut for the past four days, I guess you can say, that already the National Guard is involved and they're bringing other states to help out with the water. Okay, um, kind of like, wow, good thing I learned about it, right? But anyways, I really hope that, I really hope that, you know, they were saying out of the 80 something acres or something like that, I don't know exactly the number, 60% was so contained. Um, today, this morning, they gave an update saying that it was hopeful, that it's looking good. Um, like I said, you know, I know the weather is going to be dry for the next couple of days coming up. So hopefully, um, I don't know, I don't know much about um the f the fires uh, standard how the weather affects so much but i did notice that the last couple of weeks have been very dry here in connecticut so um thank you guys so much everybody for coming back to my channel let me know what you guys think about this have a good day everyone god bless